We're going to talk about the Immacorn Floor Discovery Project ideas and concepts. And these aren't all of them, by the way, just some. This is three. For those of you that don't know, that's the first Immacorn Core Discovery. Look what a happy. <laughs> this was at the end of the class, not at the beginning. You know. So it was a wild and crazy bunch. We were all younger then. Not much. That was in 2005. And their first project was to create an exhibit for the Dixon Mounds Museum. That was an appropriate place, you know, for the exhibit hall downstairs. And we met. They had an uh, exhibit group and so forth. And we came up with this concept called the exhibit grid concept. Remember, we had these points and pathways, and we had 14 of them. And we had three, 14 points and three pathways. So we decided to, to use the grid, and these were about four feet by four feet. And one of our gentlemen was a retired contractor, and he said, oh, I'll make the grids. We brought, we, we brought him eight sheets of MBO or MBF board, and we said, okay, we want them one by two inches, and we want them to make random grids, you know. Three months later, he's like, oh, I'm sorry I did that. Because <laughs> he created all the grids for us, and then uh, individual groups came to Champagne, and everybody contributed, and for each point and pathway, or sometimes you concluded, we made grid, and you could put anything, for instance, pathway two and point number six, I think, I can't read it, but you, you actually, these are observations based around that point, and it turned out to be a very effective e exhibit, uh, Elvin helped us, I remember we had a, uh, a big opening here, we had way over 100 people, <coughs> they produced corollary materials, so they wanted to, to show people how they had come to the point, so we developed this for people to actually scroll and, and do one of the activities where they can actually use the grid you know, to, to, to draw and, and, and do whatever they, they want to do. We still have this. Uh, if you're interested in it, we did some lighted podia so people could show the photographs backlit. Here's the next. We actually did the, the, the booklet, we laminated it so people can see the, all the stuff that people had to go through to become a core discovery member. And then here's the exhibit hung. It was very effective. It was here, I don't know, what, two months, three months, I can't remember. It was in 2006, I think. And here's the opening. Uh, we actually had some dignitaries of the Chief of Natural History Survey. Uh, Michael was here. I mean, there, there were, it, was, it was a, a very festive event. Everybody was, was, you know, just a very, very effective exhibit. And then, whoop, That's the first glitch we've had. I'm proud of myself. But anyway, uh, this was this was our first attempt at all of this. So we didn't we didn't really know how people were going to react to to you know having to work on display and so forth. And everybody reacted very very positively. And the whole program has grown uh, from that. The uh, slide that I missed is the, uh, the exhibit.
exhibit it came down from here and we went into, then it came to the Natural History Survey and we had it on exhibit for uh, several months and then Western Illinois University wanted the exhibit. I don't know where it is now, is it? Part of it's at the, uh, at the field station over at Emmaquan. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And part of it's still here in storage. So it, it's gotten a lot of life for something that, that was pretty cheap to, to do. We did it. All right, let's try this again.